Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2016 on a 16 plate. Uh, Isuzu D Max, it's the 2.5 turbo diesel version, obviously four door double cab pickup. Uh, Euro 5, uh, it is a one keeper from new vehicle, um, covered just 34,000 miles. Uh, direct off the lease company, it's uh, believed to be now on lease to a council. Uh, it's not had a mega hard life, a couple of minor cosmetics, I'll show you that as we go around, but in overall good condition. Uh, we'll try and get the video done before the next storm comes in. Uh, just looking up there on the roof, roof is all looking good. No signs of it having had any work up there. Coming down onto your windscreen, windscreen's all good. No stone chips or certainly nothing that's going to cause us any significant issues when it comes to MOT time. I'm just having a quick look at this. That's a little bit of white writing, I think, actually, on the windscreen. So we'll get that off for you. Coming down onto your bonnet. Bonnet is in good condition. No dents or dings. Not really a lot in the way of chipping or anything either, to be fair. All looking pretty good. Passenger side headlamp unit, that's all good. Passenger side front bumper corner, all good with no scuffing. Your front side light, fog light, um, is all good. Coming around to the rest of the front of the vehicle, front bumper, etc., is all good. Driver side headlamp unit, that's all good. Driver side front bumper corner and the fog light. This side's all good. Looking down the side of the vehicle from here, nothing significant. There's a couple of minor bits. I'll point them out to you as we get around to there. We have a steel wheel, this side factory steel with a Bridgestone tire on it. That Bridgestone tire has plenty of tire tread depth. Just having a quick look underneath the arches. No signs of any kind of off-road damage or any significant off-roading or anything. It's all looking pretty clean and tidy under there. Driver side front wings all good. Driver side front mirror unit all good. Nice and secure mirror unit itself is all good. Driver side door glass is good. Driver side door itself all pretty good. There's just an ever such a slight. You see a little bit of a stone chip here. Uh, did I see a little sort of ding or something there? I can't. Kind of a little bit of something going on here almost a little bit of a ding but nothing major obviously i had to search for that then door locks all looking good behind your door handles all good look at your door edges door edges are straight and tidy no sort of signs of any significant stone chipping or banging this is just a bit of uh, paint protection film got a bit of dirt in behind it um but there are there it's factory fit uh, that's just a little bit of dirt there Passenger rear door, that's all looking good. Passenger door glass, sorry, passenger driver side, what am I on about? All looking good. Driver side door handle, a little bit of scratching around the door handle, we can get a bit of tea cut and polish in there. Um, again, these little bits here, I think, bit of tea cut and polish. Little touch in there, uh, maybe a little bit of a ding there. Again, nothing major. Coming onto the tub, tub itself. Not bad. Uh, we've got a little bit of a ding there, a little bit of a scratch that's been touched in there. Probably a little bit of a dingy dent there. Um, again, nothing significant, but they're there, so we'll point them out to you. I've driven it down here, so this is all just dirt here. Okay, that cleans up fine. Steel wheel this side, all pretty good. It's lost a little bit of the silver fascia. We can get that uh, repainted for you. You got a Bridgestone tire on there as well. That has that amount of tire tread depth. Mm. Don't know. Anything less than three millimeters, we replace. The legal limit is 1.6 millimeters. So when it goes into the workshop, we'll get that checked out. If that tire or tires need replacing, then we'll get those done. Uh, just looking down the side of the vehicle from this side, try and give you an idea. Um, as I say, a couple of minor bits. Nothing major, but they are there, okay? Load liner is an overbed rail load liner, as you can see. Back of the front tub is all good, actually. High level brake lights, all good. Windows, all good. It's not battered and scratched or anything like that. Load liner itself, it's an Isuzu, as you can see. So factory load liner, 
got your tying down points, etc. all in there. They're all good. Um, good way of seeing how much a pickup has worked is have a look at the paintwork in between the tub and the tailgate. If this is full of cement and scratched and battered, you know it's had a hard life. This one is actually pretty good. The load liner itself in pretty good condition as well. Doesn't appear to have any major signs of it having worked very hard, if I'm honest. Just very quickly show you driver side arch underneath. Again, you can see nothing significant in the way of it seeing any major action. We have a little bit of a ding here. We have a little bit of a touch in there. The rear light unit is in good order. Tailgate itself, not bad. We've got a little bit of a little bit of a ding there. Um, but other than that, pretty good. We have a tow bar with single electrics. The rear bumper itself, top of the rear bumper, as you can see, that's in good condition. No signs of any significant wear or tear. Light unit this side, again, that's all looking pretty good. Looking down the passenger side of the vehicle, pretty straight and tidy, to be fair. We have a little bit of a ding here, a little bit of a ding here. This is all dirt. We're battling the storms at the moment in to try and get photos and videos done. So, you know, bear with us. Rear tub itself, obviously those marks we've just shown you, but nothing major. Steel wheel this side, another Bridgestone Jewel, the tire. That has that amount of tire tread depth. So, I don't know, there's probably about four or five mil on that. But again, we'll get that all confirmed with the 110 point PDI check that we do. Passenger side rear door. All looking straight and tidy, door glass, etc. Door edges, nothing significant on any of those. Same with the front door edges, straight and tidy. Passenger front door glass, all good. Handle and door lock this side, all good. Mirror units this side, all looking good. Passenger front doors all good. Get down low, look at those sills. Sills are all looking clean and tidy, aren't they? No signs of any significant damage or anything like that. And then steel wheel this side, another Bridgestone tire. Plenty of tire tread depth on there. Passenger front wing, all looking straight and tidy as well. Inside the vehicle, door cards, clean and tidy. Your entry sill points, plastics, all good. Don't get carpet in these models. You get a rubber floor, which actually I think is a pretty good idea for a workhorse pickup. Back of the seats, clean and tidy. Headlining, all good. Rear seats, seat trim is clean and tidy. What have we got? A couple of little marks there. That's your ISOFIX badge. Um, yeah, again, all pretty good. <laughs> Passenger front door trim, that's all good. It's about to bucket it down in a second, isn't it? Uh, seals, plastics, all good. Flooring in the front, all pretty good. Glove boxes, we have a lower glove box. We have an upper glove box. Dashboard fascia, clean and tidy. Seat trim, clean and tidy. down the side of your seats and everything you can see it's all nice and tidy isn't it driver side rear door card again clean and tidy entry seals and plastics clean and tidy flooring all good again back of the seats doesn't appear to have had too many kids seats kids feet kicking the seats or anything seat trip now these iphone cameras always highlight dirt more than what you can see in real life so i can see on this video now it looks to be a little bit of a stain there in real life have a look at the photos you can't really see it uh well i haven't got a problem with chucking the wet back over it again that's for sure driver's side door card again all good we have electric rear windows electric front windows central locking turn your electric windows off in the rear there Headlamp levelers, dashboard illumination, 
Uh, entry sills this side, all pretty good. Just have a little bit of corrosion just here, getting in and out of the vehicle. Plastic trim is all good, flooring all good, pedal rubbers all good. Uh, seat squabs getting in on the driver's side all good, driver's side seat all good. Uh, this handle here, oh, does your brake adjustment on the back of the seat, as we've just found out. <laughs> um, we have the new vehicle fired up. 34,808 miles. Obviously, we're going to drive it back or whatever. Warning lights are on to tell us that the handbrake's are on and there's a door open on it at the moment. Steering wheel has elements of wear and tear on the steering wheel. We have lights on this side, side lights, main lights, and then go down and round one further, and that'll turn your rear fog light on and give you your warning light on on your dash to say that that is on. And then this side is your wipers. We have a Bluetooth uh, telephone system through your stereo unit here with a USB power, heated rear window, air conditioning, blower fans where you want the air blowing to, air recirculation, all of that is there. Fag lighter, 12 volt power, six speed, manual gearbox, reverse gear all the way to the left and forward. And then we have your selectable four wheel drive system here as well. It's all nice and clean in here. Cup holders, down the sides of your seats, etc. There's no um, dust, dirt, old McDonald's, toenails, anything like that. Toenails, fingernails may be more appropriate. Toenails, I don't know. Do you cut your their toenails in the car? Who knows? Top of your dashboard, etc. That's all clean and tidy as well. <clears throat> um, we have fuel filler release here and your bonnet release here. Having a look under the bonnet, so there's your Isuzu badge just here to the right, just above your U, is your bonnet release there. And look at that underneath, how clean and tidy is that? This is a pickup that has not had a hard uh, life. It's not been working down the mines, etc. that you see some of these pickups doing all right. There are pickups out there that spend their whole lives down a mine shaft until they get pulled back out. Um, as you can see, clean and tidy, okay? There's your windscreen wash over there. There is your power steering fluid. There is your brake fluid. There is your air box with your air filter inside. Coolant is down there, whether you can see. Uh, that's the right color coolant, and you can see it's uh, no contamination in it or anything. But overall, really clean and tidy under that bonnet, isn't it? And there we go. The vehicle on the whole, yes, it's got a few battle scars, but nothing major. Uh, it's a one owner, it's done 34,000 miles. If you're after a double cab pickup with aircon that's going to work as a, as a bit of a workhorse for you, um, then this is potentially it, isn't it? Uh, Isuzu got a good reputation. The things are, are pretty damn reliable, aren't they? Certainly the guys that we sell them to tend to work them hard and we never hear back from them. So that can only be a positive, can't it? There we go. 60 odd photos are on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. If I can be of any more help, feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation. Uh, it's both uh, it's online on our website and Google, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. We're all on there. Nothing to hide. Thanks for looking at the video. You just made it through 14 minutes of me waffling on, but hopefully it gives you a good idea of exactly what it is you're looking at. Cheers, bye.